the counting to the 50th day of Shavuot from the Passover week, which will include seven full Sabbath days, to complete seven weeks, hence 49 days, is a microcosm of the counting of the seven sabbatical years, which will include 49 years, to the 50th year, which is the year of Jubilee. This is the 50th year and the year of freedom and restoration in which every debt was cancelled and all things restored to the original condition. Shavuot is the 50th day from the day of first fruits and falls into the third Hebrew month of Shivan. Israel received the Torah at Horeb in the third month and it is widely recognized as having been the day of Shavuot since Israel left Egypt at Passover, where the number 50 will symbolize freedom. There is a complementary found in the Epistle of Yaakov that the Torah is one of freedom. The given of the Ruach, the Holy Spirit, also occurred on the very day of Shavuot. Yeshua told us in John chapter 16 that the Spirit will lead us in all truth. King David says in his psalm that the Torah is truth. Thus, the Ruach empowers us to work in the life and truth of the Torah. Shavuot is indeed the day of our freedom as we believe in Yeshua. Shavuot is one of the three pilgrimage feasts in which we are commanded to appear before Yahweh in Yerushalayim. The Torah will let us know that these three pilgrimage feasts celebrate a harvest in the Feast of Passover, we had the offering of the first fruits of the barley, which was crushed and offered by the priest. Here at Shavuot, we are told to bring a new grain offering, which is the grain of the wheat. The barley harvest has passed and we are now in Israel during the wheat season. The new grain of wheat is also brought as first fruits to Yahweh in the form of two loaves of bread baked with leaven. This has a prophetic meaning as the two loaves represent the two houses of Israel, Ephraim and Judah. These two will be reunited for good by the Messiah Yeshua at his second coming. The acceptance by God of the two houses of Israel, even though in an 11th state, is possible through the redemptive sacrificial work of the King of Israel, Yeshua. The ushering in of the Messianic age is set forth by Yeshua on the day of Shavuot in Yerushalayim as the Spirit of Yah is poured out on the worshipping disciples of Yeshua, who then in turn preached the message of the good news to the visiting Jews who had come up from all over the world to worship. They in turn were able to take the news of freedom and redemption back to their respective towns and countries. In a very simple yet unique way, the Almighty has used these events to contribute to the preparing of the rule of Yeshua from Zion in the millennium. We already know that the counting of the Alma for the 50th day is to take place after the weekly Sabbath during the Passover week. It is important to review and understand how the Hebrew calendar works as some have fixed the specific day of Shivan 6 for Shavuot or Pentecost. This is against the commandment. Shavuot has been made by the Creator to fall interchangeably from the first fruits of the barley. In the Torah of Yah given to Moshe, we find an interesting equidistant sequence that shows us how the covenant of Yahweh signifies our freedom. In one instance, out of the first book of Moses, each 50th letter spells Tav, Vav, Resh, He, which is the Hebrew for Torah. The same equidistant variation is found in the second book, Tav, Vav, Reish, He, to spell Torah. In the fourth book of Moses, the sequence spells backwards in Hebrew, He, Resh, Vav, Tav. Same thing in the fifth book of Moses, He, Resh, Vav, Tav, spells Torah backwards. In the central book of Moses, the scriptures relating to the priesthood and the third book, the sequence is seven and spells the name of Yah, Yod, He, Vav, He. The Torah, which is freedom and symbolized by 50, leads to Yahweh, who has given us freedom by his covenant, represented by the seventh day, the Sabbath day. Shavuot is a day of rejoicing, fellowship and worshiping the Creator.
we may think on his goodness and keep sharing the good news with our fellow humans. Is it a wonder Yahweh's feasts are so rich with blessings and promises? These are the feasts he will have us keep. Until the next feast, dear friend, Shalom in Messiah Yeshua's name.